ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hey, I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday morning, the 27th day of April. And this uh, warm weather continues for much of this week. It's a tug of war between the Upper Ridge here in the south and the storm track not too far away. Pretty interesting forecast. Let's go right to some of the sky cam shots early this morning. Downtown Birmingham is seen from the top of the Daniel Building looking north. Here's the view from the uh, Walker County Court, uh, not from the courthouse, from the King Building across the street from the courthouse. Downtown Jasper and then from Tuscaloosa. That is the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse view looking to the southeast. Big trough out west, ridge over the east. We had low 90s up into New York City yesterday. How about that for an April heat wave? And then big storms out there across the uh, southern plain states yesterday. In fact, there was a, a high risk for a while. And those storms are down in Texas and Oklahoma this morning. Big severe weather risk today. It's a slight risk from uh, the Gulf Coast of Texas and Louisiana north to Oklahoma City, Tulsa, St. Louis, as far east as Memphis and Jackson. But we should stay dry tomorrow. A small risk over West Texas. And Wednesday got a risk from parts of Texas up to the uh, southern Plain states. And Again, all of the action through midweek will stay west of Alabama. Heaviest rain will stay west of the state. In fact, the bullseye on the QPF chart showing 7.5 inches along the Red River. And uh, this is valid through Friday evening. And it's suggesting there might be a little rain over north Alabama, but it sure looks like anything should be pretty isolated this week. Let's look at the modeling here. This is the OZGFS at uh, 1 o'clock today, 588 Ridge across the southeast and the east. Trough out west, and uh, down below that, the showers and storms should be lined up from near Abilene and San Angelo, Texas, up to near Chicago today. But again, around here, we stay dry. Tomorrow, same deal. We stay dry. Storms to the west, Wednesday. Front north of us tries to ease in here, but uh, again, the bulk of the rain should stay north of Alabama. We, uh, I've mentioned a slight chance of a shower Wednesday afternoon, just by nature of a little increase in moisture in the daytime heating process, but obviously most folks will stay dry. Thursday, the front goes nowhere. It's stuck up there. So again, it looks like a partly sunny day with only a minimal chance of a shower for any one given location. Friday still looks dry. A pretty deep surface low is up there near uh, Chicago and Milwaukee, moving northeast with a trailing front. And then Saturday, starting off the weekend, the front kind of drifts in here, but with very little upper air support. So that hints at maybe the chance of scattered showers on Saturday, but not a lot of rain. And then finally, Sunday, uh, the westerlies begin to, to drift north. The ridge is suppressed. There's a Vortmax around Shreveport, and that seems to make the stall boundary a little more active with convection. And then Monday uh, looks wet, if this is right. Surface low is located near Mobile and Biloxi. So it looks as though we will finally see an uptick in the rain opportunities late this weekend and early next week, about six to seven days from now. And we'll peek out there at the end of the forecast just looking. This is the 12th, and the one thing you don't see is the ridge. The warm ridge is gone. Uh, there's a pretty good-looking trough over the uh, northeast, and that looks dry at this point. But, uh, again, uh, we could use a few good rain events before we get into summer, and just maybe after this week, this ridge will be out of here for a while and allow that to happen. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.